Meet Jack Cook. You'll be playing for him in this negotiation. Jack is a toy manufacturer from South Korea. He's about to meet with Liz Paul, vice president of the interactive game department at 21st Century Silver Films, to discuss a proposal to manufacture toys for their new action film franchise, Rangers and Country. We need $720,000 of revenue to keep the American office open. Yes, I know. Or I'm moving back to Seoul. Ms. Paul, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. Oh, no problem. I'm excited to talk about your proposal. Please, come, have a seat. This is an industry standard proposal. Well, I didn't read it that way. I thought we were close, but wow, that's a huge gap. Ms. Paul, we are very interested in this business. May I ask you a question? Well, I don't know if it'll make any difference, but shoot. What are your gaming plans at 21st Century? Well, this is a different toy than the Skylanders action figures. More complex, and for a teenage to young adult player, we have to get our toy revenue up or rethink the business model. Perhaps there are other products we can develop to tie in with your movie franchise. Such as? We have extensive manufacturing connections in China. We can make wearables, phone covers and backpacks. I would be willing to lower my price to $7.50 per toy and do the programming and production setup at no charge. Well. I'll have to clear this with the licensing department, but we have an agreement in principle. Broadening a deal is an excellent way to solve a big gap. How good this deal will actually be for your company depends on a wide array of factors, not the least of which is the quality of the movie franchise. You may have just closed a deal that'll have you moving to Seoul. Here's hoping Rangers and Country is a big success. 